Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I've got your usual breakdown for Isanzo's 25th dev blog. So in today's dev blog, we take to the skies and talk about all the different aviation options available in Isanzo as call-in supports. These will all work in the same way that the chemical weapons and artillery do, as a list of ascending strength that each have increasingly long cooldowns. So down to the bottom of the ladder, we have a very familiar call-in, the Recon Plane. This was featured in both Tannenberg and Verdun, and just like in those games, when flying over an area, it will spot enemies for you on your minimap. So it's pretty much identical to its old use, but this time, we have more planes to choose from than just that. Next up on this list, we have the regular bomb attack, which is carried out by a fighter plane, so it doesn't have quite the payload that the other bombers have. But regardless, this call-in will drop 10 bombs with pretty good accuracy, which makes it great for taking out smaller emplacements like individual bunkers or MG emplacements. And then after that, the strafing run is the third call-in, which we do have some more details about. This will have a fighter using its front guns to strafe the ground in a straight line. So it'll be most effective against infantry in trenches. Regardless, this is always one of my favorites to see in milsim games, whether it be in Hell Let Loose with the Stukas or Insurgency with the A-10. Strafing runs are completely timeless and offer some of the most intimidating and cinematic effects on gameplay. So I'm sure it will feel similar in Isanzo just about 100 years earlier. So past that, we can now talk about some of the biggest and baddest aviary options, the bombers. So to start, we have just a single bomber, which will fly over the battlefield and drop 12 bombs in a straight line once again. This will be most useful against trenches, but this time with a bit more accuracy and firepower to back it up. And then the final call-in for the aviation section is the bomber squadron, which is three planes that will come over and drop a total of 40 bombs on the enemy. Now, you might be thinking with all these explosive call-ins, especially the ones that move in straight lines, what's the separating factor between them and creeping artillery? Well, these aviary options will strike faster than any artillery, so they'll have a distinct sound and effect on the enemy. Where a creeping barrage is meant to allow troops to advance behind it, these attacks from above are designed to strike fast and have a devastating effect, catching all of them off guard. These are less about tactics and more about devastation and disorientation. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail here from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.